Let's make a frequency table from the data that we have here. Here we've got a table with information on about 100 employees that work for a lumber company. We've got their employee ID, the usual number of hours they work, the education that they have in years, their year, yearly earnings, their age, and their sex, male or female. Now suppose we wanted to better understand their age. Or do we have mainly older employees? Do we have mainly younger employees? What, what are their ages? We can look at this long list and kind of see if there's any trends, but it's a lot more easy, to, it's a lot easier to uh, uh, make a, a frequency table to tell what's going on. So what we're going to do is just click any place inside this table, and we're going to go to Table Tools, and we're going to use an Excel tool called the Pivot Table. So we want to summarize the information and certain information in this table with a Pivot Table. So under Table, I'm going to click on Summarize with Pivot Table, and it says now choose the data that I want to analyze, and it has selected the all the tables data and that looks good you can see the, the moving green line going around that so that's the the table range that I want and this says uh, where do I want to put the pivot table I want to put it right next to it so I'm going to do it in the existing uh, worksheet and then I'm going to click in I3 where I want it to uh, the upper left corner of the pivot table to, to be so then I press OK and I get the pivot table builder that allows me to start sorting the information. Now we're just interested in age. So I'm going to click age and it says, oh, do you want to know how, what all the ages are built, added together? No, we don't want that. That's the sum of the age. So we're going to go over to sum of the age. We're going to right click on it and we're going to go to the field settings. And the field settings says, well, how do we want to summarize it? We don't want to add it together. We don't want the sum. We just want to count how many people are going to be in each category or each group. So I click on count. And do OK. And that's good. Now we want to have different categories on different rows. So I want to go back up here to age. I want to take age and drag it into rows. So I clicked on age and I dragged it down to to rows and it gave me a row for each age that we have and the number of people that age. So there's one 19 year old, two 20 year olds, two 21 year olds. So we've got a got a, a, a table that's that's pretty useful. Goes from 19 to 69 and there's a total of 100 employees. But we want to group these better. It's when we uh, have a, a frequency tables a lot of times it's better to have between 5 and 10 rather than 80 groups or how many ever we have here. So I'm going to click on one of these cells in the table. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to group and outline and I'm going to select group. And it says, oh, would you like to start at 19, go to 69 by groups of 10? Uh, groups of 10, I like that. And ending in something that ends with a 69 sounds pretty good. But starting at 19, that doesn't sound too good. Let's, uh, let's, let's start at 10, a nice round number. So I change that to 10. And look at this. I've got groups of 10 to 19. 20 to 29, 30 to 39, be in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. That's a really nice way to group things. So you'll, when you do the group command, you want to start at a number and have a, a number in a group that's going to correspond to nice groups. So having a group of 10 or, or fi, uh, 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 5 are good, and starting on numbers like 10 or 5 are also good. Now let's change a few things. So this is, let's change the title here from Row Labels to Age. So I clicked on Row Labels. I'm going to go into the, 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 the text uh, box here, and I'm going to delete Row Labels. So I'm, and now I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in uh, Age. And then over here, I'm going to put Frequency, because that's 
one of the words that we use to describe the, the count. I could put in count or I could put in number or frequency. That's good. Now let's see, what else could I change? Uh, we've got one 10 to 19 year old working there. That looks like child labor. That doesn't look good. And we know it's a 19 year old. So let's change this to 18 to 19. That, that looks a lot better. 18 to 19. Then we've got, so we've got one teenager, 18, 20s, people in their 20s, 20, 28 in their 30s, and so on. And we've got a real nice looking frequency table here. 